Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will study an RL diode circuit with the help of KCAT tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Open the KCAT tool and double click on RL circuit dot schematic. A schematic window appears, then click on add symbol. We get the list of library where the list of symbols are present. So for this particular simulation, we require a 1N4148 diode. Place this particular diode on the schematic window. In order to rotate, use the button R in order to rotate the diode. Next, we have to place a voltage source. So from the library type p spice and select this particular v source and place this particular v source on the schematic window next we require a inductor and a resistor so from the library type p spice and select the inductor and click ok place this particular inductor on the schematic window and now we require a resistor so type p spice and from the p spice library select the resistor and place this particular resistor on the schematic window now we have to place a ground so click on port and in the power select the ground you can also search in the filter place this particular ground on the schematic window next we have to connect all these components so click on add a wire and connect the negative terminal of the voltage source to ground and the other end of a resistor to the ground Now connect the positive side of the voltage source to the diode and the other end of a diode is connected to the inductor. The inductor is connected to the resistor. Now we have to define the appropriate models. So right click on voltage source, click on property, define the reference as V in and define the value as zero click on spice model and select the transient analysis and select the sinusoidal define the dc offset as 0 amplitude as 100 and frequency as 50 hertz we have to define the model for the diode right click on the diode click on properties define the reference as t1 and we have to select the spice model so from this particular uh, folder i mean click on the spice model and click on the bjt1 model and select 1 and 4 1 4 8 and select the alternate node sequence as 1 and 2 and click ok you can download this particular spice model from the comment section below now right click on the inductor and define the reference as l1 value as 0 and define the inductor value as 10 milli henry and click ok uh, right click and click on properties uh, define this uh, value also as 10 milli and click ok now right click on the resistor click on property define the reference as r1 and define the value as phi define the value as phi ohms and click ok now the entire circuit has been uh, drawn and for this particular uh, thing like the AC source is connected between node 1 and 0 the diode is connected between node 1 and 2 and the inductor links the node 2 and 3 the resistor is connected from node 3 to the reference node okay now uh, we have to perform the transient analysis so we have to define the 
electron statement so click on place and click on add text and define this as dot tran uh, 4 milli and 20 milli and click ok so this performs the transient operation for a period of 20 milliseconds at an interval of 4 milliseconds now uh, we have to make a small correction so in this particular uh, simulation the alternate node sequence has to be 2 and 1 and click ok uh, now save this and uh, go to inspect click on simulator run this particular simulation and now you can see the uh, transient analysis for this so click on the appropriate node so it is evident that the simulation result that uh, current lacks source voltage this is a typical phenomena in any inductive circuit and associated with the energy storage property of inductor thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below